Yeah. I know, I think the deficit last year was almost $12 billion. Yep. This year, it's now coming down to about $8 billion. Uh, so it looks like it was pretty responsible. Yeah, I think that's right. They're trying to get the House in order. This is almost a budget before a budget. Yeah. Because I'll go back into a budgeting cycle very shortly and they'll deliver another one around May next year. And that's when I think they'll look to reprioritise spending and really start to get things going in the direction that they want to to move the economy. From a small business perspective or medium-sized business as well, no new taxes. Yeah, so they honour that commitment going into the election, uh, which we really appreciate, uh, of of no new business taxes. We think that's really important. We want New South Wales to be an attractive place to do business. Uh, You know, some other places aren't doing that. Uh, We really want those start-ups, the investment in New South Wales. We really want New South Wales to be the business state. Yeah, well, we've seen with the Victoria, with their budget earlier this year, debt there is going to reach about $171 billion by 2026, 2027. And we've actually seen some businesses are starting to leave to go to South Australia and Adelaide has incentives. So yeah. we obviously don't want that to happen here. Yeah, that's right. Victoria put up their payroll tax rate, uh, which, which didn't go down very well at all. Um, and other states are going after their businesses and, and they're probably losing some. So, yeah, we've got to be careful in New South Wales that that doesn't happen to us. We've got a very proud history uh, here in New South Wales of, of uh, really being embryonic for businesses, growing some really big success stories. Think Atlassian and yeah. uh, companies like that. We want um, the investment. We want the starts. We want it to be attractive here in New South Wales. One of the big centrepieces of the budget was $2.2 billion for housing and infrastructure. Yeah. I mean, that's obviously... Not a lot of money, but it's it's a decent amount of money. I, I think it's a nod to the future. So yeah. I think there will be more on housing. Uh, all roads lead back to housing at the moment. It is the key issue, not just um, for people in general, but for business as well. It's impacting business and their ability uh, to, to really optimise their operations. Businesses are about people, and people need to live close to where they work. So um, it's a big issue for business and and for people in general. So housing, um, I think there'll be more to come on that. Yeah, we know Australia's population grew about 2% last year, which was pretty high level. Uh, I think almost 40-odd thousand people are added to our economy population-wise each month. So finding places for these people to live is critical. Uh, See in the budget about $4.9 billion to build 43 new schools across the state. So that obviously feeds into the whole population and housing issue. I think that's right. Schools and, and a lot uh, for hospitals still as well. So those regional areas, I, I think, are suffering um, in housing as well. I was up in the Northern Rivers uh, last week, actually. So uh, I think people are crying out for the infrastructure and the housing, not just here in Metro Sydney, but also the regional areas are really hurting too. Look, one issue, there didn't seem like there was any funding put aside for the Araring power station uh, on the central coast, biggest power station in the country. Uh, You've got any concerns about that and electricity prices 2025 onwards when it's scheduled to shut? Look, I think government signalled their intent on Araring, so I think they will um, do something to keep it open. Uh, We're supportive of that. Look, business wants to transition to green energy. Everyone does, but we cannot take the risk of having blackouts and, and, and huge power outages and soaring prices. So we see Araring as not ideal, um, but it's certainly a piece of the puzzle and uh, it probably needs to stay open a bit longer than what we thought. And there was no commitment on whether Metro West Rail will go ahead or not? Yeah, oh, look, I, I think we're still in, in deep conversation about that. I, I think a lot of those infrastructure projects will continue yeah. and will get delivered and, and they're important um, that they do get delivered, yeah. Daniel Hunter, Chief Executive Business New South Wales, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it.